the Industrial Revolution was uh, n less of a revolution and more of an invasion. Work patterns within the United States from the Harmonist period, from 1814 going forward into the 1830s, really embraces what we call the Industrial Revolution. A lot of things were happening in this country at that time. If you look at the Lowell weaving mills in Lowell, Massachusetts, literally young girls, practically children, were coming and working in factory situations. They were leaving the farm. They were leaving agrarian-based families, agrarian-based work patterns to work in factories where the housing was not so great, the air quality was very poor, there were a lot of industrial accidents, uh, and as I said, the age of the workers was vastly different, and the sex of the workers was vastly different, because suddenly we have women working in uh, industrial situations, in factory situations. Uh, if you are interested to look for the roots of uh, the women's rights movement and the movement towards equality, we can look in a couple places. One of them is the fact that suddenly women were employed in ways they had never been before, but also we can look to William McClure and Robert Owen as early founders of uh, women's rights. And in some of the quotations you'll see on the website, you'll read a little bit about that. Another one of the quotations on the website with regard to the Industrial Revolution is that Owen and McClure believed that the wor industrial work environment should be kept clean air, that the hours should be reasonable, that uh, the food, you know, you should be able to provide for you and your family um, by, by virtue of wages. Ask yourself, are those issues that McClure and Owen raised in 1814 at, uh, in uh, New Lanark and later when uh, Owen and McClure take over here, you know, take over the uh, Harmony and name it New Harmony, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Their ideas from the New Lanark period and from the New Harmony period, uh, not only about education, but about work environment and the environment in general, I think you will find are very contemporary. They're still in the headlines today. So you should be asking yourself, and I think in discussion, what we want to talk about is. How has industrialization affected your family? How do your parents' work patterns or your own work patterns affect your lives? How do you go about your life in order to make a living, get an education, have clean air, have clean water? How does that relate to the, uh, to the harmonious period here? Uh, I encourage you to read through some of those quotes and sort of be prepared to talk about what you think about those quotes. I think they're interesting, I think they're boring. I'd be interested to hear any of those things.